Welcome back to the show today. I got a great show for you today. We're going to talk about food trucks. What type of food truck should you be looking for if you got 25,000 cash, 10,000 cash, or 5,000 cash? What type of truck should you be looking for? We're not going to talk about 50,000 or 100,000 because if you got 50 or 100,000, you don't need to be watching this video because you can just go out and buy your food truck. So we're going to talk about what type of truck you can get for the money. So come on, let's go. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tick the little bell if you're enjoying the content. That way I can keep bringing you more content. So let's go. Welcome back to Mobile Food Booth. Carl's here again bringing you another video helping you build a successful mobile food business. So you got 25,000 cash and you're looking to buy a food truck. If you got 25,000 cash, you should be looking for a pretty darn decent used food truck. Not a new food truck, not a $50,000 food truck, not a $100,000 food truck. A pretty good decent used food truck should be in pretty good condition. It shouldn't have a bunch of rust on it. It should be ready to go. Put your decals, your logos on it. Obviously you want to make sure the food truck complies with whatever menu that you're going to be cooking because you don't want to go and buy a food truck for 25 grand if it's outfitted with all fryers and you need griddles and ovens. It ain't going to work. So you want to be shopping around for a food truck that's outfitted to meet your menu needs. You don't want to be wasting time with a truck that you got to convert grills and fryers and all that. You want something that's ready to go, ready to make this money. Obviously you want to make sure the truck is in good running order. You want a truck that has a good solid transmission and a good strong engine because you don't want to be broke down on the side of the highway. You don't have time to be playing these games. It's time to get this money. You definitely want to make sure it has all food grade stainless steel inside. You want to make sure the plumbing, the hood ventilation system, and the electrical wiring is all up to code. The only major thing that you should be worried about when you buy this food truck is wrapping it, put your decals on it, put your menu on it, and let's go. Now this is the type of food truck that you should be looking for if you got $25,000. Okay, number two, what type of food truck should you be looking for if you got 10 grand? All right, now if you're only working with 10 grand, you can't be nitpicky about the food truck. You're gonna have to kind of get what you gotta get to get going. You know what I'm saying? Now with 10 grand, you're gonna start to see little rust spots, little dings, little nicks, little odds and ends that need to be fixed on the truck. Hell, for 10 grand, you might even need a whole new transmission. But is it worth it to you to put three or four grand in a transmission to have a fully functional food truck? Let's move to the inside. Maybe the fryer doesn't work, the grill doesn't work, the hood ventilation needs some repair, maybe the electrical wiring is messed up. You're gonna to have to put a little work, a little TLC into your $10,000 food truck if you wanna get it up fully functional. Now you could be the lucky one that hits the lottery and goes out and finds a food truck for 10 grand that doesn't need a lot of work, but don't count on it. Count on if you're spending 10 grand for a food truck that you're gonna to have to definitely put some work into it. Okay, you got five grand cash for your food truck. This is gonna be a tough one, but I think we can do it. Okay, you got five grand cash for a food truck. You can probably guarantee it's gonna probably be most likely a piece of That's okay, you can work with it. You may find an older food truck, most likely five grand, the food truck is gonna be ancient, probably from the 1970s or 80s. But as long as the engine and transmission is running good, you can work with it. Especially if you're a handyman, you can do most of the work yourself. What's the point of spending $10,000 into a $5,000 food truck? You might as well just buy a $15,000 food truck, right? So hopefully with this $5,000 food truck, the engine and transmission actually runs good. You slap some paint on this thing, outfit it with whatever equipment you need, slap some paint on it, and let's go. Don't forget to like, share, and tick the little bell. Until next time. Hey.